How's it going guys? Paul the Dad Pool Survival. What we're going to dive in today is what I carry in my 10 piece kit. So stick with me. So starting off my 10 piece survival kit is going to be my Mora Garberg Carbon. Over the last year, I've had a lot of time training with this down at the Pathfinder School in Ohio with Dave Canterbury, as well as the Adirondacks in New York with Josh Enyard at Flint and Steel CSG. What I like about the Garberg, it gives me a lot of versatility in one tool. So with that sharpened spine, it allows me to throw sparks with my ferro rod. It also allows me to use some chert to throw sparks onto some char material to get my next fire going. It allows me to process smaller wood to build up my fire lay to get that going and it also allows me to craft tools off of the land around me so whether I need a spoon I need to make baton I need to make a makeshift container it gives me all those options with just one tool and that's why I use it as my starting point in my 10 piece kit so the second piece of my 10 piece kit is going to be a stainless steel container of some sort so I have a 40 ounce stainless steel Nalgene right here the main reason I like to carry this is to obviously carry water when I'm out in the field but I also like to use it to boil water. So drink up all my water, filter some out of the stream, you know, use a bandana or shamag to catch any debris out of the water, throw it on a fire, get it to a roll and boil. Good to go to keep on moving. I also can use this when it's empty to scavenge edibles around my camp. So I can bring those back, have something to eat if I don't have any food with me or I'm out on a training exercise, anything like that. Big reason I like to carry a stainless steel bottle as my number two item is because it's hard to replicate off of the land or to scavenge one off the land. So whether that's garbage, um, an old metal container, those things are hard to come by out in the field depending on where you're at. So my third item in my 10 piece kit is going to be a combustion device of some sort. So for me, it's gonna be my six inch barrel rod. This one happens to come with a paracord lanyard so the main reason I like to carry my fair rod with me is it gives me the ability to get a fire going in just about any conditions. So I don't really have to worry about it getting wet, um, anything like that. I can get my bird's nest made, my fire lay put together, take my more Garberg, strike my fair rod with that, get my fire going. With this version, it comes with a paracord lanyard. So that allows me to carry some extra cordage if I need it out in the field. So whether that's throwing up a quick ridge line, just tying something up you know it just gives me the option of taking this off of here and having some extra cordage and then in a pinch this back side of the ferro rod where it's flat I can use that to grind down or smash some material out in the field so whether that's grinding down some bark to make into a bird's nest smashing open uh, nuts that I may find to eat out in the field you know it just gives me a backup option because I more than likely would use the exposed hang on my more Garberg before I would resor uh, resort to using the backside of my ferro rod. Just gives me a lot of versatile options and I don't have to worry about weather conditions as much with the ferro rod. So the fourth piece in my 10 piece kit is going to be my cover. So I decided to go with the Helicon Tex military poncho. Obviously I can use it as a poncho if I get caught out in the rain. So it'll go over me in my pack, make sure I don't get everything drenched. I can also use this for a shelter. So whether I set up a lean-to, an A-frame, plow point, just gives me a few different options to get out of the elements. I can also use the poncho itself with a Roycroft uh, frame pack and put everything inside, tie it up to the frame, and use that as a pack if I'm out in the field without a pack. And as a bonus, I can take the poncho out of this pouch and use the pouch itself to collect material off the land around me. So whether that's material to make a bird's nest and start a fire or to collect edibles similar to what I would do with an empty water bottle. So the fifth piece in my 10 piece kit is going to be a compass. So I have the Sun 2 MC2. Obviously this is gonna be my primary means of navigation without GPS. Big reason why I carry it. 
has the mirror on there so I can use that for first aid. Look at my face, see if there's a wound on my back I can't really look at to see if there's anything inside. I can use that for signaling. And a little mag, the fine lens on here. I can use that in a pinch to do some solar ignition to start a fire. So with my charm material, just get some sunlight on there, hold it there until it ignites. One way to get a fire going. So just gives me a few more options with my compass outside of navigation. So the sixth item in my 10 piece kit is going to be some cordage. I have 100 feet of number 36 bank line here. Main reason I can bring this with me is to build shelters. So I can use this to lash together a wood frame shelter. Can use this to tie up my tarp or my poncho. Can use this to repair gear. So let's see how that comes apart. In a pinch, I can use that to repair, you know, whether it's my clothing or my pack. It won't be the greatest job, but it will get me through until I can get a better repair done on it. I can also break down this cordage and use this in extending a fire with the tar that is on the bank line itself. Uh, just gives me a little bit more extended time to try and get a fire going out in the field. The seventh item in my tent piece kit is going to be a nice big orange shemag. I like to carry this because it gives me a way to signal for rescue if I am stranded and hurt out in the field. It allows me to use this as a waypoint so as I'm out exploring I can throw this up in a tree make it nice and visible. It allows me to search around my camp for what resources I have available without losing sight of where my camp is at. I can also use this in first aid applications so whether that is tying up an arm in a sling or tying this around a wound to stop bleeding. You know, it gives me a few different options. Can also take off some of these ends or some of the main cloth itself to use as a charred material for my next fire if I really need to. So the eighth item in my kit is going to be a sail needle. So coming back to my Mora Garberg, I just have it taped to the back of my sheath here. So by peeling back that tape, allows me to access that needle. Easily put that back on there. You're good to go. The main reasons I like to carry this is number one for gear repair. So I tear a hole in my pants, tear a hole in my pack. Gives me something I can use with whatever cordage I'm carrying with me to stitch that back up until I can get a better repair done. I can use it in first aid, so I have something in a wound. Uh, I can use that to slowly pick that out of there so I can clean it up, get that wrapped up so I can get further assistance in cleaning that wound up. I can also use it in a pinch for navigation, so it just gives me a few different options to use that needle on the back of my sheet. So the ninth thing that I'm gonna carry in my 10-piece kit is just gonna be a small roll of Gorilla Tape has multiple uses for me so I can do quick repairs on my poncho if I rip a hole in there if I rip a hole in my pants pack anything like that just gives me the ability to quickly seal those up if I'm on the move and can't use my sail needle and cordage to stitch them up I can also use this in first aid applications so let's say I get a cut in my arm I can take some cordage and weave that through two strips uh, alongside of that cut use it as a makeshift suture until I can get further medical attention can use this to extend a fire so collect up my bird's nest and my fire lay and if I need a little bit more time to get that fire going can break this down and extend that fire a bit can also use this in constructing a container off the land so I use some malleable bark shape that into a container tape up the sides and it'll hold it together so it doesn't break apart on me might not be waterproof but I can use it to gather materials uh, whether that's to start a fire or gathering edibles off the land. So the final piece in my 10 piece kit is just going to be my black diamond storm headlamp. Main reasons to carry this is for hands-free lighting. So say I'm working around camp at night, allows me to operate with both hands versus having to hold a flashlight with one and work with the other. You can use the strobe feature on here to signal for rescue. Of course, doesn't want to doesn't want to work with me, but there you go. Get that strobing. So 
catch someone's attention. It also has uh, green, blue, and red light on here. So if I need to navigate at night, it gives me some lighting so I'm not tripping over everything or losing my night sight with the bright white light. Uh, just gives me a few different options in my headlamp. So now I have everything packed up in that kit in this Hill People Gear Terra Humara pack. Uh, nice small pack so it fits everything in that minimal kit uh, real well so I can keep it all packed up and good to go anytime I want to hit the trail or get out in the field. What I wanted to do with this video was just create a real minimal 10 piece survival kit that you can have ready to go for whenever you head out to the field. And it, with everything in that pack that can sustain you up to 72 hours, I might be able to push it a little bit past there uh, depending on the circumstances. Um, but it gives you a lot of redundancies and adaptability in that pack with all those items. Now, like I said, this is just my take on my 10 piece kit. Yours may be completely different and that's perfectly fine. I just wanted to give you some ideas to uh, start building off of to develop your kits. As we move forward here, I'm gonna try and get out some more videos. Been really slacking in the last uh, couple of years, you know, with changing with school and careers and such. Um, but now it's a time where I can really buckle down and really start hammering out some things. So if there's some things that you guys would like to see covered, feel free to leave some comments any questions down below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Really appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my channel, like my Facebook page. Um, I'll put everything for the links for my social media outlets um, down below um, as well as links to Amazon for everything in this kit. Really hope this helped you guys out and I look forward to making some more videos for you. As always guys, develop your mind, your body, and your gear.